Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits. We're here a little bit late today, but I had to go visit my brother. He's in the hospital now. It's been a, a kind of trying day running back and forth. But we give thanks for family. And we have these things to face. I would ask for prayer for my brother. Um, and uh, we often have to ask for prayer. But today's uh, letter is the letter for June 28. Half of wanting is waiting. When we want, we must always wait. Our desire requires more than merely thinking an outcome into being. Even Creator God wanted, thought, and mentally brought an idea to completion before speaking it into being. Certainly, his thought process is at light speed or faster, but our God is a thinking being. He is the ultimate thinker, planner, the redemption of man, architect, our bodies, the temple of God, designer, the beauty of nature and the physical universe, and engineer, the law of gravity, inertia, solid, liquid, etc., each goal or achievement requires a series of steps to be completed in the right order at the optimum, optimum moment and the progression to the next plateau of accomplishment. It is a mental procedure of successes that prepares the way for the next rung on the ladder of accomplishment. Though our plans are usually simple, we think and plan, then we execute our procedure to achieve our goal. Admittedly, we have waited, for we have wanted more security, more prosperity, a better retirement, and numerous other things. Waiting isn't fun, but it is rather the challenge that stimulates persistence to the dream. Wanting and dreaming is the excitement that sharpens our focus and draws us closer together. Waiting with you shortens the perceived time in that when we're together, we fill each second with the energy of our love and five years seem as only six months. So if half of wanting is waiting, then since we have such fun waiting, let's think up another challenge to want for. Waiting is fun with you. Kohane. And so it is in, in a good relationship. It's enjoyable whether you're waiting or planning something, dreaming, uh, accomplishing something. And so we give thanks for that. Uh, the Lord God Almighty had all these things planned. And uh, when we live in the center of his will and follow his commandments, then we find that uh, all things go as he planned it to go. So, uh, for tonight, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing an old song. You know, my mother liked this song. And uh, she liked a lot of those Irish songs. And she would sing this as she worked around the house, uh, doing her housework. Uh, when you were sweet 16, I'm going to do my best. When first I saw the love light in your eyes, I dreamed the world held not but joy for me. And even though we drifted far apart, I never dreamed, but what I dreamed of thee. I love you as I've never loved before. Since first I met you on the village green. Come close. 
closer Ere my dream of love is o'er I love you as I loved you When you were sweet When you were sweet Sixteen I love you as I've never loved Since first I saw you on the village green Come to me, ere my dream of love is o'er I love you as I love you When you were sweet when you were sweet Sixteen it's, it's true that you do love your spouse as much as you loved them at sixteen if you met them at that age. You love them a whole lot more too. The depth of the love the trust and the confidence and the knowing of one another. It makes everything better. So you, you, you love somebody more through the years and in a good marriage, you can guarantee them that you'll love them more tomorrow than you do today. I love the Lord. Thank you um, for tuning in today. May everything that you think, say, do and are be pleasing and acceptable to the most high God. Thank you for being, and we'll see you soon again.